what are the statistics? Are we talking about, you know, 500,000? Are we talking about 5,000? I know the answer because I heard your lecture. <laughs> uh, but, yes. uh, yeah, what do we got? So here we have uh, uh, the screen here. Uh, we have, mm -hmm. we've divided these groups into, you know, three different uh, groups, you can say. Mm -hmm. We have groups one through seven. That's the six districts plus all those who want to be anonymous. And those are those we call, those are the fellowships we call messianic fellowships. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have the international groups that will be like in the Danish church or will be other uh, uh, Lutheran church and the Presbyterian churches and mm -hmm. things like this. They will, or, or, or the Baptist church in Israel, for example, will also be part of group eight, uh, where there are also messianic Jews within them. And then in the end, we have all, you know, have a bit of Catholics and also, you know, People who are uh, has uh, either sectarian tendencies without being a sect, but has you know they are closed fellowships. You cannot come. You know cannot be an outsider and enter into the society. They have no mm -hmm. connection to the messianic fellowship at all. Uh, they are just by themselves or have very little connection to the to to other congregations, and they they don't. Uh, they can have a variety of different. Uh, theologies that, that's group 10 that you're talking about yes that's group 10 yeah so what would so be an example of that is that anything i would have heard of is, it, is that like some what would I, I don't know what that would be i don't think uh, most of them you will uh, there is one group that uh, will be known to you i guess okay and that would be the seventh day adventists okay okay so they're so they're okay so they're not messianic and they're not even so group eight is, um, where's nine? Oh, nine is the Catholics. So group, is that right? Nine is the Catholics? Yeah, the so, Catholics and the okay. Orthodox Church. So oh, do. and the Orthodox Church. Yeah. So group eight is um, is the international churches that are evangel evangelical, and the group 10 would Protestant. be... Or Protestant. And yeah. group 10 would be people like Seventh-day Adventists. Are they considered Christians, Seventh-day Adventists, by mainstream so, Christians? Yes, with a little... Uh, you know, question Is, mark. Isn't there something about binitarianism or? Uh, I don't there, know there, are issues, there are issues with them and that's why they are in group 10. Right? Okay, so fair enough. They, and, yeah. and, and you said, uh, okay, so you said we're talking about like, um, and you said okay. sectarian. I, I want to understand so, that so, more. Okay, so so why is it not that interesting? Because we want to focus on group one through seven. Right. But Let's go back it, to one through seven because it's 3,000 including the Catholics. What are we talking? A few hundred people, maybe, right? I mean, yes, exactly. So I'll okay. just say, I'll just say that in group ten, we have. I mean, there mm -hmm. are some that are uh, very close and have very strange ideas of what it means to be uh, a believer in Jesus. They are not Jewish, but they will be Jewish members. So they would not be messianic, okay. but they would are, that include uh, Jehovah's Witnesses? Would they be included? In no, so, no, no. So Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons, we have decided not to survey because they are, they are, they they are by mainstream Christianity already not considered orthodox in their beliefs. Okay, all right. Even though okay. some of one through seven might not be orthodox. <laughs> yes, you can say so, that. But right, let's talk about one yeah. through seven, because that really is yes. what interests me in, in, in this context and the audience, I think. So, so, uh, so yeah. in these 273 congregations that mm -hmm. we surveyed, we found that their members are 15,323 individuals. Okay. Children Wait, so groups one through seven are the, the sorry, groups one through seven are the two hundred and seventy-three? Yes. So group eight is beyond the two hundred and seventy-three that we talked yes. about before. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So All right. and and then I, I'm not sure it's clear here in the image. So you have a dot there, but that in the US would be considered like a comma. Is that right? Fifteen thousand three hundred and twenty three? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, exactly. All yeah, right. it's not that it's not uh, seventeen that's not fifteen point Right. Yeah. Fifteen thousand. That's very specific. That th extra three, like what? So this is actual data that we're looking at here. Yeah, this is the, this is what the pastors have told us. Okay. Right. We have asked them how many are in your congregation. They say we are twenty-seven members, or we are two hundred and five members, right? Okay, I see. And the, and then that's what we've collected, and then we just added them up in the congregations from the two hundred and seventy-three congregations. So mm -hmm. yeah, there are fifteen thousand three hundred twenty-three within them. Okay. Children and non children and adults and Jew and Gentile, mm -hmm. everything together. Okay. So this is not the number of of, of Jewish people. 
This mm. is the, the number that worships in a messianic fellowship. I see. Ra- rather than in a traditional Christian church. Okay. Okay. Can we break this down into more, or do you break this down into more? Like how many are Jews? How many are yes. non-Halachic yes. Jews? Oh, you got it there. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so first of all, before okay. I go into that, it is to be also asked how many are Safra. So one thing is how many are Jewish, but also mm-hmm. how many are born in the country. And uh, that people, they could not really answer. So this is a, 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 a it's difficult to uh, extrapolate these data but because we have it mm-hmm. so so few have and knew it but from mm-hmm. one we could see here uh tell us what a sabra is a uh, native born israel okay. native born israel and i love the word mm-hmm. sabra because it actually refers to the fruit of the um of a certain type of cactus and the In reason the native yes. born israelis are called that uh is because it's prickly on the outside and sweet on the inside and so that <laughs> they say that's the symbol of the native born israeli that they're tough and prickly, but on the inside, they're sweet. Okay, sabarim or sabras are... So what am I looking at here in the numbers? Yeah, so, What's the so 180? Yeah, and... yeah, so the, here you have... Uh, you can just you can, In the different language groups, how many could answer... How many congregation? How many sabras are in the congregations? That's, uh, you know, in the first line. The second line mm-hmm. is uh, the percentage of uh, congreg- fellowships that could actually answer that question. So it doesn't mean that's the uh, real off, number. That's just how many could answer. Uh, no, yeah. So within, no, yes. So the, for example, let's look at the uh, the uh, Amharic speaking congregations, right? Okay. You have 180 uh, uh, sabras within those congregations, mm-hmm. but but and that that is 16 percent of those fellowship that they are members of is 16 percent of those fellowships have sabras within them. Okay, let's look at the Russian because the Russian were fifty percent of the fellowships, and you're saying only three percent of the members or the congregants are that answered. Born. Yes, exactly. That, that answered. Course, okay. Yeah. So, but so this, of course, relates again to the big Im- influx of immigrants from former Soviet Union that came, right? So we right. have a one point three million Russian speakers in the land that have mm-hmm. immigrated here, or their parents have immigrated here. And of course, most of them are not born in the country. So again, a second or third generation Russian speakers, they become Hebrew speakers. Right. Right. So so you're saying so that, 3% of the people in the Russian congregations answered that they were Sabras, which would yes. mean there's something like 1,130 Russian-speaking congregants. That's really interesting because 50% of the congregations are Russian, but you said the total is 15,000. So how are we? How is that number adding up? Um, so within the Russian, so of the fifty percent. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you for this question. This was make it clear. So yeah. in the Russian congregations that are fifty percent uh-huh. of those hundred and thirty six congregations, in them three percent of these hundred and thirty six congregations are are sabras. Right. So if I say three percent are sabras. That means there's 1,133 people, uh, approximately. So, so you don't have the number yet to exactly make that calculation, I think, because you're taking the number from 15,000. So right. you have to take no. the number from about yeah. 7,000 here. Oh, so you have more uh, specific numbers. Here. Okay, right, here so we go. Here we go. Ah. So you have to. All right. So you have to take the number from the 16,113 that are uh, Russian speaking. In the Russian Okay. I see. Okay. Oh, so that's in. Okay. This is really an important graph here. So, what, so that what it tells me is the Hebrew speaking congregations have many more members yes. than the Russian yes. speaking congregations because they have, they have more people, even though the smaller fellowships or yes. a smaller number of fellowships. But you also wow. have to remember here. So, this, this mm-hmm. is correct within the fellowships, but if we compare with the Russian speakers, 100% or 99.9% in the Russian speaking congregations are from the former Soviet Union and speak Russian. Mm-hmm. In the Hebrew speaking congregations, that's not the case. Right. You will they have, can speak, okay. Yeah, they can be native they, Spanish speakers or English speakers or Amharic speakers. They can be from all over the world. Or and anything. they are. And they are. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
So you can, so you can, see, yeah. So they, they, you will have actually a lot of Russian speakers within the Hebrew speaking congregations. So what percentage of the Hebrew speaking congregations are sabras? That's that's the that's an interesting question. So that's about twenty eight percent. Wow, that's really interesting. Wow, I would expect it to be the highest percentage, but uh, which that's it is really interesting. Really, really interesting. These are fascinating statistics. Uh, oh, what do uh, we have here? Yeah, so I just wanted to uh, to compare that because then we asked, now you asked earlier, does the members reflect what the pastors think? And this is, might be the clearest of the halakhically speaking Jewish ethnicity. So now this is not where they are born, but this is whether or not they are halakhically Jewish. And from in the, our online survey, you can see here that most of those who took the survey are halakhically speaking. Jewish. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, Both the majority Jewish, at least, right? The majority, about 50, right? You have, 54 about 50, plus percent. Okay. Yes, exactly. Uh, I had lucky to speak you know, what Jewish. What is other? So, yes, yeah, so other, that, that that's, um, they will have, uh, they, they will have been, they will have converted at some point to Judaism. Oh, I see. For example, okay. or, or they will have, yeah, different okay. options like this, yeah. 